Today marks one year since Yummy Chocolate has officially became a company and we started selling it to the public. Now, being thankful for the success that this company has received is an understatement. The fact that you guys were able to put my dreams into reality a year ago today marks a sentimental value in my life forever. The fact that we were able to put our, all of our dreams into reality and build such a wonderful team of hardworking individuals and see the amount of success that we've been able to accomplish within the last year is amazing. Now, today I just want to overview about stuff that we did good last year, stuff that, that we did bad, and even some bit of facts that we have done within the last year and how we can even bring this company to the next level, guys. Now, you guys all might be wondering, well, how did we do bad? We did over $20 million in sales last year. Well, $20 million in sales is what we were able to make, but there's $20 million more that we weren't even able to attain because of things that we did not do correctly, marketing strategies that we did not do well, and many other business opportunities that we missed out on. However, after today's meeting, I hope that we can go into the next year with a better mindset and a better understanding of the chocolate business and the chocolate industry and understand how we can maximize our potential within this company. Now, to start off, we're going to be talking about opening remarks and overview about our company. So a brief overview of Yummy Chocolate's current market position and recent success. So our, although our chocolate company has only came out a year ago today, mainly our success has been very brought up and very well maintained. And we've been able to see lots of success within this uh, field of chocolate because we have been we have been priding ourselves on the influencer side of things now we have done many sponsorships with lots of influencers around the world on social media whether it's professional athletes whether it's youtubers slash influencers or even tiktok stars i feel as though that has projected our success amazingly we've been able to see success and wonders in that field because of these three because of these three factors now out of athletes influencers and tiktokers the most area we're seeing the most success in with is definitely influencers and influence is definitely a really big thing specifically with mr beast logan paul and jake paul to name a few we've seen a lot of success with them as people who purchase these chocolates have been using their discount codes and their codes to purchase these items so we feel as though we see a lot of success in this area however an area that we see less of less of success in when it comes to the chocolate influencer field is definitely the athlete field. I feel as though that wasn't a smart way and a smart tactic to do when trying to market our chocolate as athletes mainly provide a healthy lifestyle and they portray such a healthy lifestyle and the, and the people who consume their content and people that watch their stuff will try to mimic their lifestyle the most. So out of the three, we saw the least amount of sales within the athlete field and the most success within the influencer field. Now, marketing campaigns that went really well this year, guys, was definitely the holidays when we did our marketing campaigns for Christmas and Valentine. Our Valentine's Day campaign on social media resulted in a 20% increase in online sales. And this was really well because we were able to do deals and bundles for chocolates that were that were really well for those type of seasons, especially Valentine's Day. For example, our three our three packs of chocolate for the price of two was a really good deal that we did. And we saw lots of success within that area. Now, another way of uh, market trends and consumer insights. Now, oh, we already know that our chocolate tastes really good and we already know that the product that, uh, that comes with it and the, and the quality that we provide. However, I feel as though a great way that we can get a full understanding and a full insight on how good our product is, we should, we should start doing surveys indicating a growing interest in organic and sustainably sourced chocolates and how we can align our offerings with this trend. So essentially what I feel would be best for us is adding a survey component to the website to see how our how our consumers feel about this product about our chocolates and whether they like the white chocolate more than the milk chocolate than the dark chocolate than the red velvet we can see what product they like the most and we can stress on that product the most and and continue to sell that product the most now digital presence on social media and strategy guys when i say that this is the most important part of our business and how we strive and how we are successful on it this is the main part of your social media now our instagram following has grown by 15 percent in the last quarter and we can leverage the momentum and further enhance our online presence by continuing to get shout outs and and doing influencer deals and continue to collaborate with influencers however these collaborations and partnerships are doing very well and teaming up with local bakeries for a joint promotion could introduce our chocolates to a wider audience with it, even within the area now Again, guys, influencers is very important and we will continue to strive on this within the next quarter and hopefully we can see our chocolate sales go up even more. But guys, I'm very proud to say that we've done $20 million in sales this year for the first year in chocolate and yummy chocolate. And we are very pleased and we are expected to make another 
10% increase of that within the next following year. I hope that we can continue to use influencers as a way to market our chocolate. Thank you so much.